Hey guys, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity, and this is Pick It Up, where I review a trade that I enjoy. Today, I'm talking about New Avengers, A Perfect World. Published in 2013, it was written by Jonathan Hickman, with art by Valerio Shidi and Kev Walker. This story was part of the lead up to Secret Wars, and it happens during the incursion. One of the most interesting aspects of this book is it takes a lot of things that a lot of comic fans probably want to see and it presents them to us, but it presents them in a way that that's not really how we wanted to see it. Now, there's a lot of flashbacks and time skips. However, they all serve the purpose of showing you just how screwed that your heroes really are. Doctor Strange tried to sell a soul for power and his card basically got declined. Black Swan is calling out Tony Stark, simply saying that you're looking all around for these answers and the obvious answer is right in front of you, but you just don't want to have to deal with it. I'm probably most disturbed or and also interested in the scene with Black Panther. He goes to all the former Black Panthers to basically ask for advice, and around this time they're still mad at Namor because of him attacking Wakanda. However, the advice they're giving him and the approach they want him to take is basically what Namor wants to do. It's also kind of telling that you have Bruce Banner, who is the Hulk, one of the scariest people in the Marvel Universe, asking like, why do we have all these weapons? Like, what are we really doing? When the Illuminati meet the Great Society, instead of having one of those normal tropes where the two teams fight and then they work it out and then they solve the problem, the teams start out talking and even share some moments like, oh, you use the wishing box, well, we have the Infinity Gun. It starts to become obvious that the Illuminati is not really here to cooperate and work things out. They're just kind of trying to hold off the inevitable, which Namor is not for at all. So he starts the whole fight. At one point in my life, I probably would have been glad to see a Marvel team take on an analog of a DC team and just wipe the floor with them. But in this case, it's pretty sad. I mean, the lengths that they go to and the reason why they do it. Their actions are immediately called into question, even as Namor is gathering forces to continue on that same route. I mean, are you really a hero if you're destroying worlds, even if it's to save your own? And are the monsters really monsters if they're just doing the same thing that the heroes have already done? Anyway, I'm Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.